In this video, we're going to see how to install Eclipse to do some Java programming on a brand new Windows 11 computer. So here we have a brand new Windows 11 computer. At this point, nothing's installed on it. And specifically, we don't have Java or Eclipse installed. So let's install Eclipse. So we're going to open a browser. And we're going to go to www.eclipse.org. And I must have mistyped it. I did. But the link comes up anyway. And so now I can scroll down to download Eclipse. I'm going to click download again. And I'm going to wait for it to finish downloading. And then once it's finished downloading, I'll click on it to run it. And at that point, I'm done with the browser, so I will minimize that. Now, this brings up the Eclipse installer. The one you're going to want to pick for Java development would be the Eclipse ID for Java developers. That should be sufficient. So I'll click on that. I'm going to leave everything as the default, but of course, you could change the folders if you would like. I want it to create a shortcut on the desktop, so I'll leave these checked. And then I'm going to say install. I'm going to ins accept the license agreements and then wait for the install to complete. Now you may notice this artifact download is progressing very slowly message. I've actually never installed Eclipse and not seen that message, at least in the last few years. So you can pretty much ignore that and just wait for it to continue. It may take a while. Okay, so now you can see that it has installed. You could open the readme file just to see what's there, but we'll just click launch to open Eclipse. And if you've used Eclipse before, you've seen this, but when you start Eclipse, it's going to want you to select a workspace. That's where your code is going to be stored on the disk. You can leave it as the default, or you can browse to a location that you would prefer to save your work. And then we'll click launch. And now we have Eclipse installed, and we're ready to start using it.